It's that time of year again. The leaves are changing colors. There's a nip in the air. Ghosts and goblins are preparing for that one special night where they can come out of hiding. With October 1st being just a few days away, I thought to myself, what are some of the best Halloween movies to help me get into a spooky mood in time for All Hallows' Eve? So here it is, folks. The Top 15 Halloween Movies. This is Comic Kitten TV. Kicking off the list at number 15 is Spaced Invaders. This hilarious family comedy is a must watch to start off each October. Though it came out in 1990, Spaced Invaders surprisingly holds up well over time. Dim-witted Martians drop into a little Illinois town on the day that a local radio station happens to rebroadcast Orson Welles' 1938 classic, War of the Worlds. Hilarity ensues as the Martians attempt to conquer the planet, only to realize they made a major mistake. At number 14, we have Goosebumps, The Haunted Mask 1 and 2. Though both are actually extended episodes of the late 90s TV series, I count The Haunted Masks 1 and 2 as one film. Based on the books by the same name, the Goosebumps TV series was great to watch on Fox Kids after school every day. The Haunted Mask 1 and 2 are definitely Halloween classes, both with an hour runtime each. These aren't just television episodes. In the first movie, based on the 11th book in R.L. Stein's popular book series, which is still going to this day, Carly Beth falls for every prank played on her, so on Halloween, she buys the scariest mask possible in an off-limits room at an old store. However, little does she know that the mask has a mind of its own. In The Haunted Mask 2, the direct sequel to Part 1, the story takes place a year after the events of The Haunted Mask. The main protagonist of the story is the obnoxious prankster Steve. Steve and his friend Chuck harass Carly Beth relentlessly in the initial installment. Steve comes into possession of an old man mask as the mask from the first one possesses a shop owner in an attempt to merge with Carly Beth again. Based on the 36th book in the franchise, you can't watch one without watching the other at Halloween. Fittingly, at number 13 we have The Craft, the 1996 film starring Feruza Balk, Robin Tunney, Nev Campbell, and Rachel True, was an instant classic, especially for the Halloween season. Sarah Bailey, a 16-year-old troubled teenager with a painful past and a history of suicidal tendencies and hallucinations, moves to LA with her father and stepmother to start a new life. She is then enrolled into a Catholic school. It is at school that she comes into contact with three unlikely friends, Nancy, Bonnie, and Rochelle, all who are socially outcast with various problems in their lives that they wish they could fix. Nancy, Bonnie, and Rochelle dabble in occult practices, and when they notice Sarah has the powers of a natural witch, they talk her into joining their coven. When Sarah joins, they soon realize that with a fourth witch in the coven, they can begin to cast spells they couldn't before and begin to amend all the things wrong in their lives. But like everything else in life, things come with a price. At number 12, we have E.T. One of Steven Spielberg's instant classics, E.T. follows a troubled child who summons the courage to help a friendly alien escape Earth and return to his home world at Halloween. This heartwarming, family-friendly film is a must-watch every October. Who are we going to call at number 11? It's the Ghostbusters when three parapsychologists find actual evidence that proves their theories of ghosts. They begin to hunt the apparitions full time with the help of a sarcastic receptionist and a street smart employee who joins them as they bust ghosts for a nominal fee. The movie spawned a sequel, a reboot, and three animated series, perfect to watch any time of the year. October is the absolute must watch time. Coming in at number 10, there's no place like home with The Wizard of Oz. Dorothy Gale is swept away from her farm in Kansas to a magical land of Oz and a tornado and embarks on a quest with her new friends to see the wizard and help her return home to Kansas and help her friends as well. Originally, The Wizard of Oz was aired on Halloween each year. In fact, one of my earliest memories was watching it broadcast on ABC Network the week of Halloween. Hosted by Angela Lansbury as she interviewed different members of the cast. Because of the fact that it was only ever broadcast at Halloween, 
Watching the film each year in October has become tradition for many families across the U.S. Coming in at number 9, it's Beetlejuice, 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 starring Alec Baldwin before he went crazy, Gina Davis and Michael Keaton, and directed by Tim Burton. Beetlejuice follows a recently deceased husband and wife who commission a bizarre demon to drive an obnoxious family out of their home. Because of the imagery, hilarity, and themes, there is no better time of the year to watch Beetlejuice than during Halloween. At number 8, it's Trick or Treat. A 2007 anthology film, Trick or Treat has rapidly gained cult status since its release. Taking place on Halloween night, the film follows four different stories which take place in the same town and are seamlessly woven together through storytelling. Trick or Treat spawned a spin-off with another holiday-themed horror film entitled Krampus in 2015. In at number 7, it's The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Though not one of my personal favorites, It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown was released in 1966 and has garnered popularity with annual viewings to this day. In at number 6 we have the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Released in 1975, the Rocky Horror Picture Show follows a newly engaged couple who have a breakdown in an isolated area and must pay a call to the bizarre residence of Dr. Frankenfurter. Many locally owned movie theaters have showcased Rocky Horror every year at Halloween since its debut, with legions of fans showing up in costume dressed as characters from the film. There's no denying Rocky Horror is an absolute must watch during Halloween. At number 5 we have Casper. This 1995 film starring Bill Pullman, Christina Ricci, Brad Garrett and a slew of others follows a paranormal psychiatrist and his daughter who take up residence in an abandoned house populated by three mischievous ghosts and one friendly one. Taking place at Halloween and making references to The Exorcist and having a cameo appearance made by Dan Aykroyd as his Ghostbusters character Ray Stantz in the first appearance of the character since Ghostbusters 2, Casper is an absolute must watch for the entire family at Halloween. And let's face it, this is the movie that put Christina Ricci into the dreams of every young boy at the time. At number 4 we have Ernest Scared Stupid. The fifth film in Jim Varney and John Cherry's Ernest franchise, Ernest Scared Stupid features Ernest accidentally unleashing an ugly troll that plots to transform children into wooden dolls in the town of Briarville, Missouri on Halloween night. Though admittedly not the best of the Ernest movies, we can't deny how much we all need a little meak at Halloween. Tied for third place are The Addams Family and Addams Family Values. The Addams Family and Addams Family Values follow the antics of an absolutely creepy and kooky, mysterious and spooky, altogether ooky family who live how only they can in the spookiest of ways. Based on the 1938 comic strip, both films star Angelica Houston, Raul Julia, Christopher Lloyd, and Christina Ricci as well as a slew of others. It's no wonder these two films tied for third place on this list, because if it weren't for the films which made it to number one and two, The Addams Family would be the go-to movies every year on Halloween. At number two, we have Hocus Pocus. Again, not one of my personal favorites, but you can't really deny the popularity of Hocus Pocus and the cult following it's achieved in the years since its release. In 1993, director Kenny Ortega introduced a film which followed a curious teenage boy who moves to Salem and struggles to fit in before awakening a trio of diabolical witches known as the Sanderson Sisters who were executed in the 17th century. Hocus Pocus is a fun, family-friendly film for the young and old alike. Come on, do I really have to say it? We all know what movie or movie franchise is going to be at number one. I mean, it's right there in the title. But here you go. At number one, we have the Halloween franchise. Created by John Carpenter in 1978, the Halloween franchise is one of the few horror franchises where each of the movies have managed to stand the test of time. What can really be said about this franchise that hasn't already been said? It doesn't matter which film in the series you choose to watch, or which is your favorite. All that matters is come Halloween, you have part of this slasher franchise on your television. So there you have it guys, as we begin our descent into the season of the witch. With October being just a few days away, the 15 best movies to watch at Halloween. Tune in next time for the top 15 TV series with the best Halloween episodes right here on Comigan TV.